In this video, I'm gonna show you which tools and materials you'll need to install a CCTV camera. So let's look at the cable types. What type of cable do you use? Do you use Cat5, do you use Cat6, or do you use Cat6A? The truth is you can use either of them. Currently 5E is more than sufficient for IP cameras. Now CCTV cameras can stream in megabits and Cat5E is capable of one gigabits per second. So what's the difference between all of them? So in a nutshell, Cat5e allows cable speeds of one gigabit uh, data transmission per 100 meters. Cat6 also allows one gigabit of data transmission over 100 meters, but at this time also allows transmission of up to 10 gig over 50 meters. Cat6 on the other hand, allows one gigabit and 10, gig, 10, gig, 10 gigabit data transmission per 100 meters. So depending on the technology and how many cameras uh, that are running, you can either use Cat6 or Cat6A, will future-proof your site. The downside is when you're comparing the cost to say Cat5, Cat5 is significantly cheaper than Cat6A. So the next thing you're gonna do is how do you terminate your cables? Well, you do this by using RJ45 crimps or heads or plugs as they're known. And depending on the cable, will determine which type of RJ45 will you use. You know, there is a difference between say Cat5 and a Cat6 crimp. Um, and if you use that Cat5 crimp on a Cat6 cable, that will now only function as a Cat5e cable. But if you place a Cat6 crimp on a Cat5 cable, it'll still be a Cat5 cable. So this leads us into what tools do we need to crimp? So first of all, we'll need an RJ45 crimper. This will allow you to crimp those crimps onto the cable. And then you'll also need some side cutters to, to basically trim the cable. Then a blade or a you know insulation stripper such as this will allow you to help cut away the insulation and expose the inner wires. So once all the cables are exposed, how do you wire them? You know, is there a standard to use? Yes, there is. So the most common standard is either a T568A or B. Technically, you can wire this however you want, as long as it's the same on both ends, but don't do that. Choose a standard and follow it. And also, if you're doing this professionally, you will need a security license. The reason for this is when you're installing cameras, your client can verify who you are and know that you're a license. It gives the client peace of mind and shows them a level of professionalism. Just like you wouldn't build a house with a builder that doesn't have a builder's license, the same goes for a security license. Remember, you're gonna know everything about that system from where the cameras are located to the passwords. So you need to show that you're a license. This license can be obtained for a fee from your local police authority. The next few tools are optional, but will definitely help when installing cameras. You know, you've got a cable tester. This cable tester will allow you to know that you've crimped the RJ45s on properly, or if you've had mixed up the wires. It clearly shows which type of fault or where it lies as well. The next thing is a laptop. Ideally choose a laptop with a built-in network port, otherwise you're gonna to need to carry a USB to RJ45 dongle. You know, a laptop allows you to jump onto the system and access the CCTV cameras, so you can also set them up directly via a web browser. Sometimes there are more settings that you can enable also through those configurations. Having a laptop in the event of any issues also allows you to troubleshoot the problem quicker and even allow you remote support when you're on site. So this next video, we're gonna go into how to install the cameras and set up the MVR. So if you found this video formative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and just click on the bell to subscribe. This will allow you to get notified of our latest product reviews and tips designed to save you time. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business.